grasshopper takeover. <laughs> I just want to look. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to the range with Yoki. Today we are going to talk about an AR-15. Yes, did she say AR-15? Yes, I do have AR-15. But you guys know that I rather an AK. I am an AK girl. Now, I do have the Daniel defenses and all that other good stuff. We will talk about those at a later date. But today we are going to talk about that Diamondback DB-15. A budget AR-15 that runs absolutely beautiful. It is a very, very nice shoot. 16-inch barrel weighs about eight pounds and it comes with one magazine now we do have the moe adjustable stock on here which is also very nice um just the little details that they put on here 556 nato uh with the flat trigger also is absolutely great we are running the vortex this is the vortex what striker eagle on here uh the grip on here is also very lovely it's a rubberized grip look at that trigger the trigger is great you have more than enough, well, you have pick, spell to pick space towards the back, and you also have a piece of pick space on the front, which looks like it could be about two inches. Um, not sure uh, how that would even, I mean, I don't, I don't find the use for it, but if you do use that pick space on the front of your rifle, let me know what it is that you ride up there, because I am quite interested. At this point of this video, um, we have about 5,000 rounds through this AR, and I've had no issues, zero issues, and it shoots. I think it's a little bit more than five. It's about 10,000. Five or 10. Yeah, I'm going to go 10, with, I'm gonna go with D, uh, 10,000. Yes. I mean, I guess when you're shooting that much and you enjoy it that much, <laughs> you really kind of lose track of um, how much it is that you actually put in there. But... Yes, out of those 10,000 rounds, I have been quite satisfied. Um, although it is an AR, uh, I am very, very nice. Now the brake on here is also a nice, um, mean looking brake, as you can see. Very, very nice. And uh, today we are shooting 5.56. As you know, we are in a safe and controlled environment. We are in the 360 range. 360 range, yes, that means that there's a berm 360 degrees around me so i am able to only for the yoke game yeah <laughs> uh, i am able to pretty much uh shoot in any direction but we have a piece of steel set up beyond us right there so that is what we will be hitting so this is an audible uh video so you will be listening for the target versus seeing the target so we will be listening for those hits you got that all right, so this is an audible ASMR uh, steel hitting uh, enjoyment. Well, let me I, ask you a question. What? Out of all the ARs you got, you got about four danger defense, uh -huh. a couple of bills. Uh -huh. What do you rate this one? Wow, for the price point, I will rate this a high seven. A high seven, one for the price, two for the comfortability, three for the ergonomics on it, four uh, for the look. So um, it pretty much five for the trigger. What scope you running? I uh, we were told you we were running the Vortex um, Striker Striker Eagle, Vortex Striker Eagle. So um, yeah, you can run whatever it is that you want on it. So. It's basically your choice. So this is what I have chosen. And as far as performance wise goes, it performs. It performs very, very well. Price point is nice and comfortable and you're actually getting something that uh, performs very well for that price point. So as I stated earlier, we are running some 5.56 five, through here. We have preloaded magazines. So right now, the only thing left to do is what? What? Let me hear. What? Suit them up so we can send them down range. <laughs> okay, so I got my hearing protection. I got my eyes on and we got our target. We got our beautiful rifle. So that means we are ready. I just got here and I'm dirty already. The beauty of the range. Where you come to get hot and dirty. 
All right, so as I stated to you, very beautiful shoot. Magazine loads great and she feels beautiful. I can say, I can say that I do enjoy this AR very much. Let's get that shot for you. Damn it, drop my damn steel. But I got the Do you hear that trigger? Do you hear that trigger? Whoo! My steel fell. I'm just not been having any luck <laughs> with keeping the steel up. The rifle is clear and safe. All right, so let me go get my steel up. That trigger, that trigger on those double taps are just so beautiful so beautiful i don't know my rating might be a little bit different after this all right get my steel if it happens again we're just running it all right we're just gonna run this i'm just gonna work it for you work that trigger and uh just get it done that way Cause we ain't gonna be walking back and forth no whole bunch of times trying to get this, keep this damn thing up. Oh. Turn it around the other way. Ouch! Woo! Ow! All right. Vamanos. Par camion. Vamos a tirar el AR-15 de Diamondback que uh, lleva el, ¿cómo que se dice? Uh, the round de 556. Tiene una barrilla de pulgada de 16 pulgadas. Pesa 8 libras y estás... Uh, beautiful. <laughs> ¿Lo cogiste? Muy bien. Okay. Otro magazine. Y vamos a tirar. We got another magazine. We are going to continue to send these down. Flip that switch. Nice stance. again and we are clear Whew. beauty y'all is she enjoying it is she warming up on me that's all right Woo, she's good and hot she hot and ready now <laughs> rifle is clear and safe let's get my mask whoa what a run what a run All right, looks like I might have to get me some gloves because I don't want to stop. And we are gonna have to reload. I do have one magazine left, but let's get some gloves. Okay, I'm gonna keep my right hand free. I'm just gonna cover up my left hand. Uh, that was something that I wanted to talk about, but I wasn't gonna tell you that so early in the video. <laughs> but <clears throat> besides that, as you can see, she shoots absolutely beautiful. I love her. Okay, I got my steel back up. 
So we are going to, this is the last time, last time. Got my seal back up. Uh, we're going to try to keep it up on the stand. And uh, if not, we will just continue to run this as we have been. Smoking. What was that? Nothing. The trigger kind of slowed down on me. Or is it my finger? <laughs> yeah, my finger's getting a little fatigued because it's so nice. So I want to shoot very, very fast, but my finger's not allowing me, although the rifle has the capability of doing so. All right, magazines. Oh, what do y'all think? What do y'all see? Now, y'all see me smiling. Y'all see me smiling so you know that it's quite enjoyable. I do have uh, two more magazines. I'm going to do these two and then maybe about two more, maybe four more. I'm not sure because I am enjoying it quite a bit. Although I have on my glove, I still feel the heat seeping through. But it's all right. I've had more burns with a flat iron. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying <laughs> to really get that trigger work. But I, my finger just won't let me. She is clear and safe. Like that? I do. Woo! Get reloaded. Give you two more magazines. Ready? Let's go. Got my magazine. Too bad my target is gone. But it's all right. Because we're going to still shoot. Ready? working like a damn sprinkler system. <laughs> Wow. So, I dropped that. Rifle is safe. My magazine. There she is. Woo! What a rush. Woo! Now you know when you're at the range and your adrenaline starts pumping, that heart rate speeds up and your watch is telling you heart rate has increased within the last 10 minutes. You know you having fun. <laughs> you know you are having fun, but I got a question for y'all. How do y'all feel about this range? 
Do y'all like this 360? I know I've only been in one spot, but it goes all the way around 360 degrees. Uh, if I set something up with my subscribers, would y'all come? Would y'all come down and check me out and shoot with me here in the 360? Let me know. Drop that in the comments if that would be something that you would like or something that we can possibly make happen. I almost can hear y'all. <laughs> well, as I was saying, we are talking about the Diamondback 15 chambered in 5.56 rifle. Now, I know you probably heard a little bit of rattling when um, I was actually getting into shooting stance. And what you're hearing is on this um, stock, there is a little compartment in here for you to add uh, that put in your that one last round if you're out or if you any type of tools or anything that you may need to drop in here. You can just drop that in there, whatever it is, a Band-Aid maybe, whatever. But that's what the rattling that you hear. It's nothing uh, going on. You hear that? Nothing going on with the rifle. And it is very, it's uh, three-stage adjustability. So no matter how long or how short your arms are, you will be able to adjust this to your liking. Now, like I said, this thing is hot. Hotter than chicken grease. <laughs> bueno, como estaba diciendo, yo um, conocí o oí un ruido que estaba haciendo la arma, pero no es um, algo con la arma. El ruido está viniendo de aquí porque en el stock tiene un... Um, uh, com compartimento donde puedes poner lo que sea um, unas balas um, unas herramientas lo que sea para que uh, lo puedes tener y eso me gustó mucho pero aquí ahora no tengo nada pero esto una un tornillo algo. perdóname que se me murió la cámara pero estaba diciendo que aquí puedes poner las her herramientas lo que quieras en, um, adentro de, del stock y eso me gustó mucho so um, like I was just saying so as far as this goes, it's an absolutely great shoot. Price point is beautiful and um, the ability. And I guess I am going to give y'all the, the thumbs up on the versatility of an AR-15. But I still love my AKs. I'm an AK girl at heart for life. Um, now this is very, 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 very hot. That was one thing that I did experience throughout my journey with this Diamondback was the heat. And although I had on a glove, I can still feel the heat coming through that glove. Um, but it's not nothing that you can't work through. We did shoot quite a bit of rounds today, so it's only expected for it to have that heat element on it. Now, um, if you want to get something to actually put over your handguard to kind of absorb that heat. They sell those things, but I can't give you no information because I don't I don't know of any, but I have seen them. Uh, so what did y'all think? What did y'all see? What did y'all hear? Did y'all hear it? Did you hear? My hair ain't been acting right for the past few days. I don't know if it's the humidity or what. Um, did you guys hear the performance on this? The trigger is beautiful. Um, again, very satisfied. I want to extend this out for you to see, but she is just so, 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 so hot. So with that being said, yo gang, do you have one? Um, if you do, let me know what have you done to it. If you've made any changes, let me know. I'm quite interested to know because as far as it goes right now, um, changes is not anything that I first see now or in the future um, because it performs very nicely. So uh, listen, if you have not yet checked out www.yokegang.com, make sure that you do pick up a t-shirt or a patch. And if you're interested in joining the Yoke Gang All-In membership, make sure that you do. I am going to get on a live schedule. I am going to let you guys know what that schedule is going to be so that we can at least have uh, at least one live a week so we can get in there and talk because I really, me personally, have really been enjoying them uh, very, very much. So, um, if there's a days of the week that you are rather or a time, let me know. Drop that in the comments and we can make sure we get to that. But as far as this Diamondback, uh, DB15, it is beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh, beautiful. So, y'all already know I love it when things work and I love y'all for life. Mm -hmm. Peace.